uh, in the Midlands of Ireland. Um, I remember particularly Fiona Pender and George O'Donnell and others. And being a father of daughters myself, I, I was very bothered by it and felt somehow implicated in something that was beyond my control. But still, the idea of being in a society when these things could, have, could happen, it seemed bizarre to me in Ireland of the squinting windows that nobody saw anything. And of course, that story has been back in the news in the last yes. number of years and again. Just give us a, a straight translation of sure. Kelly Nasul. Here it goes. Oh no! Just give us the, the of the title, and then I'll listen to the musical version if you don't mind. So, do you want to? Yeah, English? just give me the English title uh, for that poem. It's just called Conspiracy of Eyes. Conspiracy of Eyes. Cum Kelligna Sul Asquelega. Rory Quinn, who announced today that he's stepping down from office and will not be seeking re-election at the next general election. Over a 40-year career, Mr Quinn served as a senator, TD, Labour leader and held a number of ministries, including finance. An air and sea search operation has been stood down after the body of a 61-year-old man who went missing while diving off the coast of West Cork was recovered. Earlier, another man who was 66 was taken from the water at the same location was pronounced the car ended up on its side in the river. Its injuries are not life-threatening. A Sinn Féin has had what the party leader, Gerry Adams, called a good meeting with... This is 2FM. Ralph McLean on BBC Radio Ulster. On Sunday's Ladies Connacht Senior Football Final, Mayo and Galway going head to head in that one at 3:30 in Elbridge Park in Castlebar. We have full live commentary of the game here on Midwest Radio. Mike Finnerty on commentary and Michelle Corbett on analysis on Sunday afternoon. And both the GAA and Sky have dismissed concerns about low viewing figures in the opening four live matches of the new broadcast deal. According to the Irish Times today, the three-year agreement, which is worth in excess of 10 million per annum to the GAA, has seen viewing figures decrease from 32,000 in the match between Kilkenny and Offaly on June 7th to an average of just 10,200 for last Saturday's Armagh versus Monaghan draw. Nice and easy. And now, eyes down for details of some local bingo sessions this week. Paris with New York Trader from Warm the Waters, an album that came out in 2012. You can see them on the 11th of July at the wonderfully named Moonbeams Folk Festival at the Wold Top Brewery in the Yorkshire Worlds. Well, frankly, what's not to like about all that? Um, uh, which is not to say you can't have just as good a time at the Whitstable Music Sessions at the Royal Native Oyster Stores in Whitstable on the 18th of July. I wonder whether Chris Wood will be knocking around there because that's his neck of the woods. OK, thanks for listening. I'll be back next Wednesday. In the meantime, don't forget, you can email us at folkshow at bbc.co.uk. Catch up with the programme for seven days after broadcast at bbc.co.uk forward slash folk. That's also where you can download the folk podcast, uh, session tracks and see pictures of our guests in all their glamorous glory. Joe Wiley is next with Kathleen Moran. This was a Smooth Operations production for the BBC. This is BBC Radio 2, online on digital radio and on 88 to 91 FM. The BBC News at 8 o'clock. This is Claire Ronakers. Richard Westcott. If you're actually travelling on board a train, it's safer than it's ever been. In fact, the railway is the safest form of land transport. You draw the line on this. Um, for example, a lot of what uh, Hitler wrote about was a kind of very garbled version of some more sophisticated ideas, um, such as those of philosophers like Heidegger or arguably Nietzsche. And in this country, a university student union has just banned the Nietzsche Society because they've got professed, because they're talking about f why one incoherent rant by one man.
and a rather sophisticated version of the same thing, or arguably similar things, somewhere else. Because the book we're talking about and the man that wrote it, Adolf Hitler, is not just any man. And the things, it has a very, very big symbolic um, I appreciate power. That. I appreciate that, but you actually said... of tea-related jazz without summoning images of gents and sideburns disgracing themselves in a restaurant, and then they enjoy a rueful puff of a certain brand of cigar. Well, with the ban on TV tobacco advertising, the French pianist Jacques Groussier's softly swinging arrangement of air on a G-string has become a wee bit and jazz. that these things are going to be used like this are. The expression is an absolute right. Melody? Well, um, can, I, can I just test out where the boundary, in your view, should be set? Um, if you had been around uh, in the 1930s, uh, would you have supported, for example, the right of Oswald? Or did he know long before that he would be condemned? Had nobody graced with this man in the first Nobody grows with his unhappy wife and child there. Where my beloved husband is sleeping. Valerie Bushman. I will check in. After uh, tomorrow is, I say, I think, yeah, Thursday. So, we, um, another uh, competition time. So, insurance to compare 14 different Price and are proud to sponsor the uh, Cork GAA. We're giving you the chance to win four pairs of tickets to the Munster Football Final this Sunday in Portland. So four pairs. You can check out our Facebook page, Game On RT 2FM, to win one pair. Well, you can share the status there. Over on Twitter, 2FM, we have another pair to give away. Just retweet the competition basically, to give them the chance to win. I was talking to them on Sunday at the uh, cemetery back in this night. And we only meet in graveyards for some reason or other. <laughs> but anyway, I'm a big fan of Marty Robin. So here's Marty, special to ourselves, Thomas.